Now that I've completed a discovery flight, it's time to attend some ground school to learn the classroom portion of things before I get back up in the air. There's a lot of ground schools out there. You might be able to go through the flight school at your local airport, or you could find plenty online. There's a bunch of different ones. I have finally settled on Sporties, uh, which has been around for a very long time. They have a lot of really good content, very crystal clear instructions that you can use to complete your ground school and just be knowledgeable and ready to fly. So the standard version of Sporty's Ground School is the online content, which is amazing. I would highly recommend it from what I've seen so far. And that comes in at around $300 for that. So the deluxe version of Sporty's Ground School includes the standard content. However, you get a bunch of different books and tools that you will need to get through ground school. Now the price difference is the standard schooling is $300. The deluxe schooling is $500, but if you really add up the cost of those different items, we're gonna see if it comes out to being about even or if I'm really saving money by getting this deluxe bundle. So as you can see behind me, I've got the box. Uh, I've been waiting to open this for a week or so. I'm ready to see all the content. I know what's inside, but I like seeing things, feeling them, looking through them. That's what I like to do. It feels like Christmas morning. I know I have a bunch of goodies in here. So we're gonna go through it one by one just so you can see what's included in Sporty's Deluxe learn to fly package, and we're gonna see what that entails. All right, let's start digging through the box. We're gonna bust it open here. We've got a great catalog here. I'm gonna be circling through it like a little kid on Christmas, asking for presents. All right, item one, item one. All right, so here we go. We've got the little sporty, sporty spice bag. Um, they call this the crosswind bag. Put your little pens and doodads in there. You got little zippers, little side pocket action here. That's nice. Uh, what else we got here? A little extra big pocket. Let's probably, probably put some headphones in somewhere there. Got the forbidden sugar. All right, well, cool. Item one, crosswinds bag for housing all of our different supplies. So we got the Learn to Fly book here. Uh, pretty thin guy, you know, nothing too crazy. Will fit nicely in my little bag that I have. Um, but basically it has a bunch of cool stuff here. Pro Pilot career tips. Well, let's just go to the um, table of contents here. All right, we got basic questions, tips and tricks, preparing for the FAA tests, Pro Pilot career tips, which is four, and then five is the student resource guide. So this is about a hundred page book. Um, seems more of like a, oh, you want to fly? Read this book. <laughs> I've been looking at it for this and I'm like, all right, what are we doing here? And then I realize it's, uh, it's a quad, quad fold, quad, quad four fold. All right, very cool. This is a sectional chart. Uh, I'm gonna hang this up in my room. So uh, it says on here it's a sectional training chart. So I'm assuming there's a couple things in here where we're gonna practice on it. Figure out what we gotta do on here. Chart out some navigation, some routes. Next up, we got our handy dandy ruler. Uh, now this is a forever sectional plotter. Um, it's guaranteed forever, so that's pretty sick. Um, probably because it only costs 10 cents to make I would imagine so they can afford to guarantee that um, But this is used for charting different routes um, Doing different angles. I take it. I haven't actually done it yet, but I saw a picture of it once and Yeah, we're learning as we go All right, so here we have the pilots logbook uh, The nice thing about this is it's leather bound It's hard covered uh, really high quality paper so after my discovery flight, this was the one thing my flight instructor recommended apart from ground school was get a good logbook because you need it to last um, because they essentially give you this. It's a literally like one coffee cup spill away from having a really bad day because you know this is your bread and butter, all the hours and stuff you've logged and the things you've done. So, so I don't know how you do this. I don't know if I can just have him transfer my paper guy to my leather hard guy. <laughs> oh, the Bible, so they call it from what I've heard. This is 
2025 FAR AIM, uh, which is the Federal Aviation Regulations slash Aeronautical Information Manual. This baby is husky. Needs needs some Ozempic on this baby because it is is big. Um, literally looks like everything ever is in here, and it's it's dense. Like you had this book earlier, the Learn to Fly. This is like, oh, cool. I'll, uh, you know, I'll just do some light reading. Literally reads like legalese. Subsection 142.57 aircraft requirements, part A. Like, yeah. I know I'm going to have to read this stuff, but, uh, you know, this, this is why I like videos. I'm a video guy. I'm not much of a uh, rules and regulation reading type of guy, but hey, I'm going to have to do it. I've done it before. I will do it again. I swear, Your Honor, I did not know I couldn't do that. Guess what we got here? If you're thinking aviators to make me a better pilot, no. Um, says here these are instant IFR training glasses. I believe they call them hoods as well or something like that. But essentially, it's supposed to block your vision so you can practice just reading the instruments and not looking out the window. But jokes on them I have the other problem I look at the instruments too much and not out the window dude I feel like the guy from X-Men fun going back in books baby airman knowledge testing supplement for sport pilot recreational pilot remote pilot and private pilot so a little secret not really but I have my part 107 uh, remote pilot's license through the FAA already. So I probably already have this book, maybe a year older or something, but um, there's not a ton of like real information in here that you would learn from. This is to reference. So like, let's say on your test, they say, okay, referencing figure 10, like you would basically look at figure 10 and then you would answer based on this image because uh, like they do a bunch of for the remote pilot stuff, they do a lot of this stuff. It's a lot of sectional charts. So they will basically say on this sectional chart, number one, what is that? What airspace is that? Or, um, you know, same goes over here. What's this blue line mean, you know? So this is, uh, yeah, you need it, but I wouldn't spend tons of time, you know, pouring through this, like out of, out of all these books, this one, you're probably just, this is like, hey, I already know this. I just need this for the test. Airplane Flying Handbook. See, this one looks, this is more my style. A lot of pictures, a lot of big font, which if I'm honest, that's where I succeed. Yeah, this teaches you everything. This is a lot of cool stuff. Um, we've got some aerobatics going on on this page. That's gonna be me, hopefully not unintentionally. That's kind of what I like about Sporty's training so far is all this stuff is already presented in videos and in the videos at the end, they have a transcript section so you could reread what you just watched basically, but they also have a reference section. So let's say, you know, I'm learning about different maneuvers. They can point me to a specific chapter in this book, the airplane flying handbook on maneuvers so that I can get more information, you know, because sometimes watching a video isn't enough for people. Sometimes you want to read, sometimes you go on, you know, the internet, you look at Reddit threads, Quora th threads, like learning what do people actually do in this situation? So I love having multiple sources of information. The E6B electronic flight computer. All right, folks, here we have it. This is the E6B flight computer. Uh, basically it's a computer, but it has a bunch of functions like pre-programmed into it. So you can do different flight calculations while you're you know, in flight, while you're planning flights, things of that nature. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably go through using this a little bit once I know what I'm doing because currently I don't. So very cool. It's probably the most I've spent on a calculator since I got a TI-84 Texas Instruments calculator. Yeah, another calculator I didn't know how to use. So all right, uh, the Sporty's fuel tester. So this is a fuel tester. Um, it's, it's critical that you test the fuel on your plane before you get flying. Uh, you have to basically test every different drain port, which I think there's like five on the wings and then uh, a couple more down below. But basically you check to make sure there's no water in 
the fuel and you also want to make sure that it's the correct kind the correct color um, I prefer to taste it oh, I prefer tasting the fuel <laughs> but uh, no uh, looks like you got like a little screwdriver end here that's pretty cool um, and then I think that this just goes up there and presses a little valve just goes and, you know spray some fuel into here and then you can uh, basically go see what's going on here it has a little thing on the side for when you get this um, red 80 green 100 blue 100 ll which i believe is uh low lead clear could be water or a mixture of fuels so i think if you use this you see the color you're like oh crap i can't remember what green is well green's 100 that's probably maybe octane basically from the videos i've seen from what i've learned so far like if you fill this up with your fuel and down here you have like a big chunk of clear and then the rest blue well the water is heavier than the fuel so you're gonna have fuel you're gonna have water down here and that's not going to combust and it could cause failure while you're flying so that's why this is critical um, you want to make sure you have quality fuel and you also want to make sure that your fuel level is good before you go flying so very neat um, it's actually harder plastic than I thought it was gonna be like when you see it online you see this thing it's, it's actually got for what it is for just like plastic with like a screwdriver in and it's got a little metal tube going through it it's pretty hefty uh, it's like thick plastic too it's not like you know you're gonna drop it and just completely shatter it although you might crack it but it's nice because uh, I have a habit of breaking things and we are at our last item I don't mean to disappoint. I know you want this to go on all night, but we're at the last item. The pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge, uh, which I think sometimes gets shortened to FAC, uh, P-H-A-K, FAC. Bunch of really good knowledge in here. I honestly, it's gonna take me some time to distinguish the difference between the airplane flying handbook and the handbook of aeronautical knowledge because um they're looking pretty similar at this point in time so i'll be honest uh starting to feel like school now for sure with all these books we've got about uh 10 pounds of books here um a lot of good information but no like i said i've been going through the sporties online private pilot school and it's been great the videos are so detailed and i've been doing great on all the quizzes um, so I'm hoping that will be the bulk of the work is just watching the videos going through it that way and then referencing these when I'm not totally sure about things um, and then hopefully just get some time up in the air and apply what I've learned. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys had a good time watching. I know I had a good time making this so like and subscribe and we'll get some more videos to you soon.